Hey guys, it's Acedia coming to you live from Times Square, and with me I have... It's your boy Johnny Bands. Say So Blessed, X Boomer. And we actually have some artists here. There are two YouTubers and one TikToker. And I would love to ask you guys, what inspires your creativity? Hey man, the numbers, the text, the numbers, the descriptions, <laughs> everything, like, the motivation. I mean, my motivation is to get my mom, you know, a bigger house, so, and get my family. I just don't want my mom paying another bill. Yeah. I mean, I come from like a creative family, so it's just it's like born into me, but I just want to see my mom happy, so I'm trying to do whatever I could to get her in a better spot. All right, so we have some really good people that we're actually talking to, and what could you do for the rest of your life and never get bored? Can you say it again, please? What could you do for the rest of your life and never get bored? Ball. <laughs> ball on YouTube. Straight up. <laughs> Basketball. Yeah. I play pro ball, so that's what I'm going to stick to. Uh, YouTube and TikTok stuff. That's really hard. So I think it's amazing how you guys are actually doing what you love, and most people don't have the courage to do that. So where did you get that energy to be able to do what you truly love and take that risk? Hey, in high school, yeah. I was a comedian. I ain't going to hold you. Like, I just mm -hmm. love making people laugh, like, you feel me? They just seeing me, like, yeah, that's a goofy mob, you feel me? So, you mean, yeah, that, that's what motivates me, though. All right, so uh, I saw my bas my um, father play basketball, so, you know, I was just into it, so, you know, I just played basketball, so, I mean, uh, that's what I'm sticking to. I used to be anti-social and shit, so, like, once I, like, learned how to, like, talk to people, I actually started enjoying and realizing I could make people laugh and make people's day, so, I just decided to just keep on doing it. What sparked the change between you being antisocial to now you being like super social and super open? Uh, social media, to be honest, I've seen how much uh, like I can make people's day and things like that. So once I decided, uh, like once I seen that like spark into my uh, following and stuff like that, I just started to keep going. Hmm. Now, what's been the biggest challenge for you guys right now in your journey? See, this is my first time being out in like two weeks. I'm not gonna hold you. I just got into a massive car accident. So like this YouTube stuff that I've been editing at home, I haven't been working. So like YouTube is my job. Like, really. So I've been working harder. Post like twice, three times a week. You know what I mean? Enjoy life. Yeah. Um, same thing. Like you know, YouTube it just push me and push me and keep going and my biggest I was I was trying to like reach 1k for the longest and now I just hit 1k so yeah hey, <laughs> thank you yeah. yeah yeah so what was the question again oh, it was what has been your biggest challenge uh, I think my biggest challenge was just uh just starting TikTok and things like that it's kind of hard to like get out there um, once I officially got out there, I was kind of shy about like opening up and like the dancing and the goofy side of me. Like not a lot of people know about that side. So once I finally like let go, I feel like that was probably my biggest obstacle in coming into this stuff. So I think that was it. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. That was really amazing. Appreciate it. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Okay. This is Cedia signing off live. GLE TV. What is going on?